the year of the worker. As far as I'm concerned, this is the year of the skilled, efficient worker who knows what he's doing and is prepared to learn and practice the skills of his calling. You have not impressed me as being one sort of person like that. Your performance this morning has been dismal. <laughs> no doubt. I'm in poor taste. You are a disaster. Yes, Miss Jones. You say the switchboard is jammed? People want to know why we have taken off the new moderator. They what? They think he's honest and straightforward. They must be mad. <laughs> the whole world is going mad. What's that you say? Oh, cricket commentator has to buy a bag of steak milk. And have to leave the commentary booth. Oh, Lord. What else can happen? What else? Oliver. Yes, boss, your worship, Lord, sir. You ever done a cricket commentary? <laughs> I don't answer. You ever done a cricket commentary? Oh, it's like a dream come true. Stop that, our boy. The cricket commentator has taken me ill, and I want you to rush down to Sabina Park and take his place. But please, Oliver, don't get carried away like you did on Friday, dear. Just keep it cool. Describe what you see in a restrained and professional manner. And don't make any out of order remarks. No matter how cute some people might think you sound. You understand me, Oliver? Yes, boss, I understand. Or I might have to terminate you. Chillax, boss, man. Why you keep using that term to me, do you? Do you know say undermine my confidence? Pull yourself together, man. Just rush down to Sabina Park and take over. Okay, boss. Anything you say. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Oliver, talking to you from Savannah Park on this great occasion where the West Indies is facing the savage bowling of the visitors as they try to snatch victory on the last day and closing hour of this exciting match. We are coming now to the close of the game with three West Indies wickets in hand and one hour of play to go. The air is electric with excitement. I can feel it in my bones. Miss Jones, it's not that I don't trust Oliver, but I just feel it in my bones that I better get down to Sabina Park, just in case. The score is 209 for 7. The bowler coming in from the south. He delivers off the off stump. The batsman swings. The ball pops into the onside next to the gully. There's a man at slip, a silly point, a forward off spin, a stupid mid-on, a silly mid-off, and a silly gully. There's a man at extra cover, another at forward short leg, and also at backward long leg. Or whatever it is, then call it. Bowler comes in. He delivers. He's bold! He's bold! Off the mid-stump! Ladies and gentlemen, he's bold! Now West Indies is definitely in trouble. It is now 209 for 8. West Indies, I am telling you, I do not know, but they are definitely in trouble. Next batsman now coming to take his guard. I feel sorry for him in my heart. Poor soul. Oliver, you sure you know what you're talking about? <laughs> she, man, your manager. You know how long I've been associated with cricket? From I was a little youth wearing short pants and playing with coconut bat and condensed tin. <laughs> That's a trouble. It's not bat and ball, no, no. This is cricket. So what are you trying to tell me, say? That I'm just a little coconut bat boy? You say so? Talking about silly meat gully and forward leg cover or whatever. Chupid is you're talking about. You see? It's because you don't understand the language of cricket. Why are you talking them foolishness there, no boss? Anyway, the bowler is coming in and so they're getting ready, boss, man. So you better just shove off and leave this business to the professionals. West Indies need 21 runs to win. What will they get it? It hardly seems possible to me. Tension is in the air. Tension is everywhere. The bowler delivers. The batsman chops. My goodness! The fielder dives 
catch his net, takes the catch, he's out! Ladies and gentlemen, this looks like the end of the West Indies. Last batsman to come in now. Lamb to the slaughter. But what is this? The batsman is refusing to come. He can't face the pressure. This is too much. This is a crisis. The West Indies is going down. And ladies and gentlemen, as a patriotic West Indian, I have to do something. I can't stand by. Oliver, Oliver, where are you going? Get back to your post. How can man die better than facing fearful odds for the honor of his country and the ashes of his gods? Oliver, Oliver, what are you going to do? Ladies and gentlemen, a crisis has arisen. What are we going to do? The West Indies is facing defeat. One man left. They need 21 runs to win, and our commentator has deserted his post. But what is this I see now? There is a commotion on the field. Our commentator is having words with the West Indies captain. What? They are giving him a cap, gloves, a white shirt on the back. I cannot imagine what is wrong. But this is indeed a dark day for the West Indies. Olive, our commentator, is walking resolutely onto the field towards the wicket. And I can only imagine that he's going to bat as the last one in for the West Indies. This is ridiculous. He's only a simple coconut bat and condensed in boy. The bowler will murder him. Oliver is taking his stand now, banging away at the crease and flexing his knees. He fixes the bowler with a baleful eye, but the bowler is that intimidated. Bola comes in. Oliver goes back and bangs it past the middle. The ball is not fielded. Going. It's going. It's going to the ball. It's a four. Oliver is off the mark. Unbelievable. This brings the score, ladies and gentlemen, to 213 for nine, which was still is now needing 17 to win. Four balls left in the over. In comes the bowler. Oliver drives the swan off the back foot into the offside and onto cover. It's another four, ladies and gentlemen. 217 for nine. 13 runs to win. Oliver on eight. A slip, a silly point, and a forward off point. Ola runs forward. Oliver swings recklessly. The ball goes down towards the third man, wide of the diving fielder. Another four. It's incredible, unbelievable. Oliver is now on 12. Score 221 for nine. West Indies now need nine runs to win. Two balls left in over. This huge gathering here at Sabina Park is electrified and on their feet. In comes the bowler. Oliver chopped this one high in the air. It's going to be a catch. The field is not dead. He drops it, he drops the ball. And in the meantime, the batsman have taken two. Oliver now on 14. He was lucky that time. But I think his luck is running out. 223 for nine. Seven runs to win, ladies and gentlemen. Last ball in the Oliver. Oliver delivers. Oliver steers this one down to the gully where it is picked up. And they take one, which means that Oliver will again face the bowling in the next over. 224 for nine. Six runs needed to win. Oliver on 15. You can put the tension here with a knife. Oliver is looking shaky now. I think the tension is getting to him. This little coconut bat and condensed tin boy has done a miraculous job so far. But I think he's finished. I can tell he's finished. The bowler knows he's finished. Slip and gully, close feeling. Mid off, mid on, third wicket. The bowler is vigorously polishing the ball. He comes in now. Oliver shuffles forward and swings ferociously. He loses his balance and falls flat. The ball. the ball. The ball is rising in the air like a rocket, like a missile. Here are four fielders are racing to get under it. Oliver lies where he has fallen, gazing upward. The ball. The ball keeps going, going, going over the heads of the racing fielders, over the heads of the spectators. The ball has disappeared, ladies and gentlemen. It's a six, a six West Indies win, ladies and gentlemen. The whole place has gone mad. Yes, sir. You can talk to me now. Oliver, I was just about to call. Now about your probation. Yes, sir. I must confess that I don't know what to do with you. 
You have broken every rule in the book. And yet, yet, I must say, you have increased the listenership of Radio LLV by a hundred percent. Therefore, I am pleased to tell you that I am about to take you off probation and appoint you a permanent member of staff with an increase of twenty dollars per week. You don't seem very pleased with what I'm saying. Tired, sir. Tired. To tell you the truth, you know, it's only one request for I come in here to see you, you know. Oh, if it has to do with salary. No, Chief. It's not that. I know I'm not entitled to it yet. But, but, you can't give me two weeks leave. 